Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome back to the good life. <laughs> Could that have been any more British? I don't know. I don't care to know. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we got some time to waste before the uh, science team shows up, whatever they're doing. Oh wait, are you outside now? No, you're not. Okay. Macaulay's here. You're here. Okay, okay. Um. Hey, Sherlock. Or Norlock. How are you? The time has come, my dear Hayward, to test your abilities as my assistant. Seriously? What? Why? Someone in this town is in possession of the Holmes sketch, which I used to worship the Master Detective. Naturally, I drew the sketch myself. Your task is to use your powers of deduction to determine, determine the identity of the person who possesses the sketch. Okay, but why do I have to do it? I know. Allow me to give you a little hint. It's connected to the food I love more than any damn other. Damn you! Listen to me, damn it! <clears throat> ah yes, I might as well give you one more hint as well. There is nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. We'll meet again. I wish you the I wish you the very best of luck. At this rate, he'll only end up annoying me even if I don't play along with this little detective game of his. Ugh, fine. Order Norlock's favorite food. Oh, I have a guess on what that is. Crap, the science team's gonna be here soon. Lucy didn't tell me to go out and greet them or anything, but I should probably go say hi just in case. Ugh, I really don't want to, but I guess I'll head out to the town square now. Fine. I mean, I'm here already. Oh hey. Hello again, love. Oh, want something from your auntie? Let's chat. Let's chat. Hey, why do your scones taste so damn good? I've tried making cookies and scones over and over again, but they never come out right. <laughs> oh, you want to know Auntie Jen's secret recipe for happy scones? It's been passed down for generations, but I can teach it to you since you've always been such a dear. Seriously? Really? Thanks. I need you to help me out with a little errand first, though. Have you seen all those little eggy weggies around that look a lot like my golden eggy weggies? Well, I'd like you to bring me a dozen of them. A dozen, so twelve. I'm sure I'll be able to cook up a storm of scony wonies if you bring me that many. Save for later. So I'm basically waiting here till three o'clock. William doesn't want anything. You don't want anything. Martha or Salome? No. Oop. Uh, I wish I was a grown up. What? Why? Don't you know that all adults are terrible human beings? Oh, really? Never mind then. Don't worry, you'll grow up in the end whether you want to or not. What's the matter? Adults can buy all the clothes they like and wear whatever they want, right? I want to wear lots of pretty clothes, but I can't, so I just put them on my doll instead. But you know what? I really wish I could make you my doll, Naomi. Wait, uh, what? Yeah, I know. I'm weird, aren't I? Nope. Hey, come on, there's no need to cry. I could put on a cowhide jacket and model it for you if you want. Really? I think Funny and Bunny is the only place you can get clothes tailor-made in this town. I can't wait to see all your cool New Yorker clothes, Naomi. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, we're getting weird now. Um... Maybe I should order another bit of food. Mm, 
Stamina regen, hunger be gone, healthy. Yeah, let's go with the mushy hedgehog. Boom, At attack up. Okay. Oh, come on, get here already. Eh, eh. Three, two, one, zero. Here they come. Cute. Ugh. But today's Cute? not a payment day, is it? Oh. None of your business. Just do us both a favor and keep your mouth shut. Huh? Hey! Wait! Hey! Wait! I told you to keep your mouth shut! <laughs> what the hell? The hell was that? Where am I? Swine! Silent subhuman. Nicholas Anderson. Excuse me? Nothing infuriates me more than creatures that can somehow speak despite having no concept of how to properly discuss a topic. Know this, subhuman. Questioning me in any way is a punishable offense. S subhuman This must be Dr. Anderson. But some subhumans have the capability of coincidentally indu to coincidentally induce positive effects. Much like the pattern I'm currently observing. Go on. Thank your luck or your god, as you subhumans are so quick to do. And now, behold! Feast your eyes on these relics. There is currently a better term for them, I know, but this will do for now. Okay. Alone, each relic is equivalent to nothing more than a piece of garbage. No, they are garbage, plain and simple. That's science for you. But, but when all three are utilized in unison, what do they create? A prime example of shocking, astonishing science. And so, I hereby name this scientific phenomenon <laughs> the Trinity Incredibil Incredibilis. Trinity what now? I'll decide its official name later. There are more important things to deal with. Yes, it makes perfect sense now that I've come all the way out to the United Kingdom. I will use an empirical approach to tease out the secrets of the Trinity Incredibilis. <laughs> Open those turbid eyes of yours and watch closely, subhuman. I hate this guy. Okay, he's way worse than I thought. Can we kill him? Just, just, just throwing that out there. Can we kill him? What? What the? Hey, there! I told you to silence yourself, subhuman. Now, commencing with today's exposure experiment on specimens A, B, and X. Exposure time, three seconds. End report. Now for a short lecture on the constituent parts of the Trinity Incredibilis. This tank contains a culture of glowing moss. One might consider this moss the main power source of the Trinity Incredibilis. Next, we have this gun. The gun itself bears no intrinsic value. Just a regular kid's water gun from a regular mall, with some slight modifications. The key here is what I attach to the muzzle. Cortana's Edge. With this, I can provide directivity to the energy that is released. <gasps> but this alone is not enough to birth true science. So, I will inject vampire's blood into the cylinder of this gun. This, in turn, will function as a catalyst. Behold, the 
Trinity Incredibilis. Exposure experiment one completed. Confirming transformations of specimens A and B. No effects witnessed on specimen X. Proceeding to exposure experiment two. <coughs> exposure experiment two completed. Confirming new forms of specimens A and B. No effects witnessed on specimen X. End report. This can't be good. Well, subhuman, has the power of the Trinity Incredibilis Ray shocked you to your very core? This is the power of science. The driving force that allows you, subhumans, to live your days in peace and happiness. <sighs> As you can see, this ray only affects those who hail from this town. But through repeated experimentation, I will quickly acquire the answer to this mystery. For that is the power of science. Science! Can you imagine it, subhuman? If every human could transform into an animal, every last societal problem would disappear in a flash. We could turn all the unproductive subhumans like you into cats and dogs. Solving the world's population and hunger problems, and that's only the beginning. Next, we'd employ militaristic might against ignorant savages who deny scientific prowess. This guy's a total psycho. Yep, can we kill him? <laughs> Subhuman, are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, yep, I'm listening. I currently lack the required number of specimen. I need a wider variety of samples. And you will bring them to me. Samples? I just gave you an order. You are to bring several more townspeople to me at once. Seriously? But that's abduction. Lost your mind. Don't you dare try and reinterpret my orders using different words. I will not allow you to waste another second of my time. For it would cause the entire human race to suffer. Your ignorance is nothing short of a betrayal to all mankind. Uh, but... This is your last mission. Upon completion, Morning Bell News will award you amply for your performance. Wait, you mean... That's right. You'll be able to pay off your entire debt. All you need to do is obey my orders, complete your task like a good robot would. An ideal job for any subhuman, wouldn't you agree? Just imagine it. Imagine what could happen in a world where humans are free to change into dogs and cats whenever they wish. We'd be able to track each other's pee? Ho oh, ho, an uncharacteristically sharp assertion, subhuman. What if the detection dogs you see in airports could actually converse with elite narcotics agents? And what if police dogs could speak with veteran officers? No, what if they were the veteran officers themselves? Hmm? Yeah, it might be cool. <laughs> Looks like you're finally starting to understand the true potential of the Trinity Incredibilis, Ray, subhuman. And it should go without saying that this invention will only continue to contribute millions of dollars to great science. And when it becomes a commodity, those who assisted in discovering and researching the relics may even earn something. I could put in a recommendation for you, you know, if I remember that is. As long as I do a good job, is that it? It appears as though you've finally begun to understand your place in the machine, subhuman. For the sake of science. In which case, there is no more time... In which case, there is no more time to waste. Bring me the following three specimen at once. Well, which one are you going to go after first? Make up your mind. Uh... Can I just say no? For the sake of science! The highly intelligent specimen? Do note that the term highly intelligent is only used in a comparative sense, as far as rural inhabitants go. And I've already satisfied my physically advantageous sample with David O'Reilly, which leaves only one choice. The specimen's name is Charlie Smith. Now go and get to work, subhuman. Charlie Smith? 
Who the hell is that? Lost your mind. And you call yourself a researcher? He goes by the alias Norlock Homeless in this insular community. Oh, that guy. Telling him you found a prime suspect for the murder of Elizabeth may be a wise way to lure him out. Take a photograph of me sitting in Elizabeth's wheelchair and use that to convince him. If my hypothesis is correct, Smith has a soft spot for Elizabeth. Stimulate that spot and he will do whatever you ask of him. Hmm. Spine! What are you standing around for, subhuman? Haven't you ever heard of the saying, time is money? Bring me my specimen at once! Yes, yes, this is quite the wheelchair. If enlarged, it could allow anyone to traverse public highways without a, without a license. In fact, I can hardly believe such a fascinating discovery could have been made in this rustic sty. God damn hellhole. Once that mad scientist pays off my debt, I'm severing all ties with him. I've got no choice but to do his dirty work right now. I just need to be a little more patient, and I'll finally be free. Free of debt... Free of debt hell at last. You have no choice, Naomi. Just keep your chin up and get this done. Uh, I'd like to think you do have a choice. Uh. Oh wait, we can't do a surprise for Martha anymore. Oh no. Oh, no. <sighs> God damn it. Fine, got it. Give the photograph to Norlock Homeless. <sighs> okay, there has to be something else we can do. Right? There has to be a different way to do this. What? Where am I? Oh. What the hell? It's over here? Oh my god. Okay. Victory? Come here. I want to say, screw this asshole. Okay, you're not out and about. I really want to say, screw this asshole. But I feel like you have to do it. I mean, is it what I think it is? Hey! Just let me know. Hey, has no luck come in here lately? Boy, that's right. I forgot he'd given me a message to pass on. Do you like? When you order a plate of fish and chips, I'm supposed to tell you. I bought something at Fancy and Bunny yesterday. Yikes. We're entering super old RPG territory here. <laughs> Regardless, I've no idea what he's going on about, so good luck to you, little Miss Assistant. Give me a break. I'm not even getting paid for this. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this. I'm not sure if... I, off the top of my head, I'm not sure if Norlock is Team Cat or Dog. Uh, don't know. Cool. Hey, Virginia. It's chat. Cool. It's you. Oh, welcome to Fancy and Bunny. How can I hey. help you? I'm hearing a bit of an errand today. Has Norlock come around lately? That bargain bin Sherlock is dead set on testing my abilities as an assistant. And you have risen to the occasion, I see. Yeah. Pretty much. 
<sighs> well, I hope you aren't trying to get me wrapped up in anything. <laughs> I'll be happy to help you out, though. Honestly, it sounds kind of fun. He came here to buy some ink. He said he was going to use it to test his assistant. Ink? I might be able to track its scent. Do you have another bottle of the same ink he bought? Same kind of ink he bought? I'm afraid I'm completely sold out. It was an unusual type, so I only ever ordered two bottles. Seriously? I'm out of clues, then. No, wait, I'm still okay. Damn, I'm sharp today. You said you ordered two bottles and Norlock bought one, right? Then who did you sell the other bottle to? <sighs> I don't like giving out my customers' personal information, but I suppose this test is an exception. I think I sold it to that stupid novelist. Oh god, well, we're gonna go find William. Doing legwork, it seems. Funny enough, I can actually understand part of this game, like, in a sense. It's over the top, obviously, because that's kind of the way Sphere does things, but I can understand the feeling of being trapped and wanting to get out from under a mountain of debt. How it basically takes over your life. You feel like you can't do anything because... You know, because you're spending all your time trying to work that off rather than living. Hey! Hey, I got a question for you. You bought a bottle of rare ink at Fancy and Bunny, right? Mind letting me borrow it for a bit? I have no words. Just how intrusive and unmannerly can you possibly be? This ink is a very special type that I specifically chose for signing autographs. Making it not only a very special kind of ink, but one that now has additional value. <sighs> I could never allow any matter of Kamal Simpleton to touch it. Then just give me your signature, right on a scrap of paper, anything, I don't care. I only give signatures out to my true fans, otherwise what worth would my signature have? Ugh. Could this guy be any more of a pain in the ass? Could you tell me where one of your true fans is, then? I mean, I might as well go ask them what they found so stimulating about your work, right? Indeed. Hmm, in that case, I suppose I could tell you. Just yesterday, I gave a small girl my signature. She was frozen in place and staring at one of my books, after all. I figured a little surprise like that was the least I could do for one, from one of my younger, more bashful devotees. Find the girl who got an autograph from William. Okay. Small girl, huh? That means it's one of the... One of the, um... Macaulay kit? No. Yeah. Macaulay kids. Eh. You're not hanging around in here, are you? Not today. Yeah, baby! Hey, Salome. Where are the granddaughters today? Oh. The worst part about rainy days is that I can't tend to my roses. It's about time I gave them a good pruning. Maybe they're over at the thing. Yeah, baby. Here. No? Wait, did Rita just leave? Huh. And those children. Oh, hey, Salome. Wait, you're heading in? That's funny. Usually you don't go in unless one of your granddaughters is with you. Huh. Should I expect one of them to be along? Oh. 
Okay. I guess not. Where are they? What's today? In-game, I mean. Today is... Uh... Friday. Hmm. I wonder, are the kids out and about playing? Is there anything else I can try to accomplish while I have time? Can't do Bright Future. No. Maybe. Eats Chan. Human Rights Oldest Computer. Uh, I could do that. That's That should be quick and simple, honestly. Wait, wait, wait. How far on the map do I need to go? Okay. Let's just go. Go, Victory, go! Fine, victory. Aha! Yeah, baby. Is there a break? No, there isn't. Okay. Who? Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Over here, victory. Let's go! So where are we going? Not sure where it wants us to go. Where are you leading us? It's getting dark though. Cut straight through. Because I don't have time to waste. Eh. Eh. Victory! Eh. Yeah, baby. 
least that asshole's mission isn't urgent. God, I hate that guy. Okay, okay. Following you. I really wish you wouldn't say that every time. Every time I step on the gas, so to speak. Oh, oh, we're going to... Okay, I get you. What? Where am I? What? What? No, get, get off. What? Wait, where are we going? Okay. But what's up here? Holy shit. Okay, we're just heading off into the... Into the abyss. What? Okay, hang on. There's a road that we can follow. I think. Sort of. Is there? Oh no, that's just the wall. Where are we going? Where does it want us to go? Um... I, I don't know where that is. Is that a place we can't get to? Shit, okay. Um... Now I'm just really confused. Take a picture of a town outside of Rainy Woods. Okay, I need to get back to the road. Because this mystery now has my, uh, caught my intrigue. No, not that way. We're going this way to the road. Hey, foxes. Saturday! Okay, wait. I accidentally jumped the road. Here comes sheep. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna call it here. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you wanna see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you wanna suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for The Good Life on Steam, although this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. Also, check out links in the description for Nico Katako. She's a cat girl VTuber. Met her a couple months back. She's very kind, amazing, very entertaining person, great personality, and she honestly has been a big help for me and uh, has been very kind to me. So links in the description there for her Twitch and YouTube channels. Go check her out, you won't regret it. And in the next part, I'm looking into this because now I'm gonna, I wanna figure out what the hell this quest is asking me to do. So we'll see. I'm gonna try and go that way. If we can't go, fine, but I'm gonna try. Until then though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> ah! <laughs>